I'm sure you have run into errors numerous times while programming. Basically, these errors are of two types. One is syntax errors like missing parentheses, wrong indentation, etc. You can easily fix these errors by fixing the syntax. And the other type of error is exception. Even if your code is syntactically correct, it may sometimes result in an error. For example, if you divide a number by zero, you will get an error. These types of errors that we encounter during the runtime of the program are called exceptions. In this video, we will learn about exceptions in detail and then we will see how we can handle them in Python. So let's get started. Let's understand about exceptions first. For this, I will write a program that will give us an error. So in my code editor, I'll say numerator equals 10, denominator equals 0. Now I'll say print numerator divided by denominator and I'll save this file. Let me run it. I'll say python main.py and you can see that when I run the code, we can see the zero division error has been raised. Even though our code was correct syntax wise, it's not allowed to divide a number by zero in Python. This is an exception. In this case, we are getting the zero division error exception. Depending upon the error, these exceptions can be of different types. For example, if we try to access a file that doesn't exist, we will get the file not found error exception. Similarly, if we try to access the item of a list out of range, we will get the index error exception. Now that we know what exceptions are, we will see how we can handle them next. And by the way, if you're finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be much appreciated. As we know, when our program encounters an exception, our code ends abruptly with an error message. And most of the time, rather than showing the default message, we may want to show a custom message that's more helpful or run a different set of code. This is known as exception handling. It's the process of responding to exceptions in a custom way during the execution of a program. In Python, we use the try except block to handle exceptions and its syntax goes like this. Inside the try block, we write the code that might throw an exception. Now if an exception occurs, the control of the program jumps immediately to the except blocks and the program continues. And if exceptions don't occur, the except block is completely skipped. Pretty simple, right? Now let's see a working example of it. So inside the try block, I will write some code that might raise an exception. Let me remove this and here I'll say numerator equals integer input enter numerator then I'll say denominator equals integer input enter denominator. Next, I'll say result equals numerator divided by denominator and let me print the result. Here we are taking numerator and denominator from the user, dividing the numerator and the, by the denominator and then printing the result. This code may raise an exception if the user enters zero as a denominator. Let's print a simple message inside the except block if an exception occurs. So I'll remove this code and here I'll say print denominator cannot be zero. Please try again. Let me also put another print statement outside the try except blocks. Here I'll say print program ends. Let me save this and when I run this, so I'll go to my terminal and say python main.py in the numerator I'll enter 10, in the denominator I'll enter 0 and as you can see denominator cannot be 0, please try again is printed. This is because this line result equals numerator divided by denominator raises an exception when denominator is 0. In this case, the control of the program jumps to the except block and the code inside it is executed. Let me run this program again. So here I'll say python main.py and this time let me enter the numerator as 4 and denominator as 2. When I press enter, as you can see, the correct answer which is 4 divided by 2 is printed and the except block is not executed this time. Before moving to the next section of the video, the programmist team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit size lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes and many more. 
The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description. I have this code from our early example on my screen. Here, it doesn't matter what type of exception it is, this except block is executed whenever an exception is thrown. It's also possible to handle different types of exceptions in different ways. For example, we may want to print different error messages for zero division error and index error exceptions. We can do that by specifying the type of exception after the accept keyword. So here after accept, I will add zero division error. Now this accept block is only handling the zero division error. Let me run this code. So here I'll clear this and let's say python main.py enter numerator 10 and enter denominator again I'll enter 0 because I want to throw the exception and as you can see the code inside the except block was executed. Handling specific exceptions in this way is particularly useful if our try block may raise more than one type of exception. Suppose our try block can raise the zero division error and the index error as well. We want to handle these two exceptions separately. We can do that by adding another except block to handle the index error exception separately. Let me show you what I mean by this. I will add code inside the try block that may raise the index error exception. So in my code, after the print result, here I'll say my underscore list equals one comma two comma three, and I'll accept input uh, or the index from the user. So here I'll say i equals integer input enter index and then I'll print my underscore list i. This code will raise the index exception if the user enters an index greater than 2 because our list only has 3 items. Now to handle the exception I will type another except block. So here I'll say except index error and inside this I'll say print index cannot be greater than size of list. Let me add the full stop. Now when I run this code, I'll say python main.py, oops there's an error, so the error seems to be print result, no print, oh I forgot a bracket here, okay. I'll save this and let me say python main.py. It says enter numerator, so let me enter something like 10. In the denominator, I'll enter 5. Now when it says enter index, let me enter something like 5. When I press enter, then you can see that index cannot be greater than size of list, which is the custom message I had put in for the index error is printed. A try statement can also have an optional finally block which is executed regardless of whether an exception occurs or not. And its syntax goes like this. Let me run this code first. So here I'll say python mean.py. Now let's understand what's going on in this program. This block of code gives us the zero division error. So the except block wrong denominator is printed to the screen. Finally, the code inside the finally block is also executed. However, if an exception doesn't occur in the try block, this except block is not executed but this finally block is still executed. The finally block is usually used to perform cleanup actions that need to be executed under all circumstances. Suppose we are working with an external file in our program, we need to close this file at the end even if there was an error while writing to it. In this case, we put the close file function inside the finally block. At this point, we have covered pretty much everything we need to know about exception handling. By the way, we can also create custom exceptions in Python. If you're interested, you can check that article on our website programis.com. The link will be in the video description. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put the link in the video description. And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming. Mm -hmm.